Look alive, sunshine. All right, time to get back into the madness of that is Resident Evil. Concert art, stage one, Nemesis A. Is this it? Ah, it is. I'm telling you, it looks like he's wearing trash bags instead of a coat. Looks nice, though. Anyway, we're not here for that. We're here for this. Everything was in order for the ride out of the city, but the relentless creature appeared yet again. The train was derailed during the attack, with Jill still inside. Carlos, however, was not on board. He has been sent to investigate the city's police department through it doesn't... Though it doesn't seem there's a force left to greet them. Alright, we just made it over here. Which means it's just me and this dude, who I don't think... Um, I don't think they mentioned his name. Alright, is there anything in here? Oops. Okay, so both Jill and Carlos get their own box. Which I think is pretty cool. Okay, my mic is on. Wait a second. Let's look around. Okay. All right. You want me to keep out? I'll keep out. <laughs> Dude, you're heavily equipped. Hey. Ah. No fun. ID card security protocols. September sixteenth, nineteen ninety-eight. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, this same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Oh. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it Report it lost immediately. RPD Facility Maintenance Department. Okay. Which I figured it had to be that. Although I wanted to make sure. I know what I'm doing. Wait a second. Are liquors in here? Holy shit, it sounds like a massacre. What the hell was that thing? So liquors are in here. We got plenty of ammo, dude. Don't worry. So that's how you ended up like that. So that's how you ended up like that. How's it hanging there, buddy? <laughs> I'm going to hell. I know. Bring it! Son of a... Oh yeah, Leon and Claire definitely haven't made their way in yet. Define warm welcome. Nothing warm about these guys, they're all dead cold.
kind of like my slow and cold beating heart. <laughs> oh, that's not open yet. I find it really weird how barely any of this stuff is... Huh. T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Not this. Okay. Green herb, our good friend. <laughs> Hello, green herb, my old friend. I've come to smoke you up again. <laughs> Talk about let the bodies hit the floor. Damn it. What about you? This is gonna be fun. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, that. This is fun. <laughs> September 20th, arrest report. Name, Rodney Gray. Occupation, un unemployed, former electrician. Charges, unlawful creation and or possession of explosives. <laughs> Holy shit. Narrative. Suspect was seen behaving suspiciously at 144200 Box Street at 1442 Box Street on September 18th, 1998. Suspect's person was searched. Producing a small explosive and a timed detonator from his inside pocket leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Suspect spoke feverishly when questioning began and at one point questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning was resumed, suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me. I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand? The corpses attack from the shadows. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming. Soon. Gotta hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and a sedative administ administrated. No, due to suspect's unstable phys psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect's conditions. The explosives collected from suspect's person and residence appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one of the detonation devices. Upon its admission into evidence, the battery was secure in the safety deposit room. Interrogating officer Wes Drucker or Drucker, I'm not sure.
Marvin. Leon's desk. Okay, so Leon and Claire haven't made it in here yet. I'm so glad I heard that. Fuck you. Does anyone remember the code? Because I don't. Red herb. Time for you two to make some sweet summertime loving. Shut up. Yeah, but what can you do? They're dead. God, I actually feel like I'm in the game. Okay, what is this? Internal memo. Oh, okay. This is the star's office. Um, office supply. Okay, so 9, 15, 7. 9 left, 15 right, and 7 left. Uh, for the time being, I'll put this in here. This assault rifle is a reference to the, uh, the M5, M4 assault rifle. I I'm trying to make a guess because I have the airsoft version of it in my closet. By the way, that is really fun to do. I actually got to try it. Ate shit a lot of times. I'm so pissed. <laughs> even my even my teammate was like, we were taking cover behind this like prop ACP APC. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. It was a tank, a prop tank. <clears throat> and I was being shot at. Thank God I wasn't hit yet. And I turn around, <laughs> I turn around to get behind cover. To oops, I passed it to get to where he was, and the entire. B uh, airsoft field is covered in BBs, so like any type of footing I wanted to get just made it damn near impossible. And so I get behind the area, nice. I get behind the area, and as soon as I get into a good position to actually hide from being shot at, I slip and eat shit. And he didn't even need to turn around to, to know I fell. He's just like, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> It is really fun. A lot of running, and recommended you do get better boots, just in case. Probably for a good reason. Oh, okay. So that is a, this is actually starting to explain a lot. Charges are set right there that explodes, which um, 
disrupt that. I know what's in you. Fuck you. <laughs> Flash grenade. That's good. It's really good. Green herb. I'll take you. I know there's a red herb that I have. Okay. Guess we'll be doing this the exploding way. Okay. So that's okay. Actually. If I'm right, yeah, you need the battery. In which case, I'll keep that there. Because we'll be back, and we'll need battery, wherever it is. Note to a friend. Hector, if you're not reading this, I'm... If you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it. Please. While you were out of patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side. I realized that explosives might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock down this, knock this wall down. So I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound the best I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell out why you must not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy Wes. P.S. Don't worry about that $600 I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Oh. We can hop aboard the fields train now. I'm not crying, you're crying. So that's why he was in the locker. I'm really glad they got rid of the durability for the knives. Because that was bullshit. Well worn key. See, oh, okay. Bitch, I know you're alive. God, this is oh god. Anyone remember the code for this? <laughs> Fap, if only. Uh no. I think it was Wow, I guessed that. Don't get up. Wait, where's the door? There was a door right here. I'm just gonna run past you. Okay, I need a battery. What am I missing? Star's office. Okay, so there's still more we need to do at the star's office. No, Carlos, don't run. As much as I would like to run, knowing that there's going to be a liquor to show up, like, literally soon.
Come on, I've killed these things before. Operations room. Flash grenade. Um, Star's office is where I need to go. Um, which way? Operations room. Oh, okay. It was this way. Okay, so there's a flash grenade in here, somewhere. Ah, here it is. Okay. Like, I knew they were going to show up, but I just wasn't exactly sure of the timing of them showing up. Okay. Okay, so there's still something in here that I need to find. The question is what? And you're still chilling. What is this? Hand grenade. Okay. Something's gonna have to stay behind. Ooh. More ammo is always a good thing. Okay. Actually, I'll keep that just in case. <clears throat> key in there for now. Well, that was fast. Don't tell me you chickened out. Fuck you, all right? I don't see you doing anything. Besides just playing on the computer. What are you playing? Minesweeper? <laughs> I know what's behind these little drapes. Ammo. Okay, so technically the main hall is good to go. What does that say? Explosive, electronic gadget. Okay, maybe I'm going to need that key after all. The question is... Where does it go though? Safety deposit room. Is that the locker room? That would make sense. <clears throat> oh. 
So what kind of site is he using? Is it the ACOG site? That's not a red dot. Red dot would be a lot more thinner. And the holographic site would be a little bit more bulkier of the red the red dot. Awesome, okay. Figured that out. We don't need that, so discard. I like this quick select shit. I hope it doesn't really do the whole puzzle. 104. There's the battery. 106 ammo. Seven doesn't look like it, anything. One, oops. Okay, so <laughs> grenade, grenade for days. Okay, so it looks like I. Oh no, wait. I don't. Well, I can't open it, but there's nothing in there. I know that sound. You. Yeah. Fuck you for making me waste ammo. Alright, what do we have? Might as well. I mean, oh yeah. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. I know. What? What is that? Ha! <laughs> I already got it. Oh look, there's a dead liquor. You know what would have been really good? Like for both oh! Oh, I'm not gonna lie, that scared the shit out of me. Uh what was I saying? You know what would have been really uh a really good idea? This was the concept from Outbreak, the first one, the level Hellfire. Um, I would have loved to actually see the Regis liquor in this, in like any of the original Resident Evil games that had liquors. Copy that. Don't think that's a good idea.
One at a time, take a number. How did the grenade not get you guys? I can understand door boy, but like Sorry lady, but I don't do necrophilia. Unless you're like a vampire that I'd make an exception to that. What? Vampires are hot. Like Lenore from Castlevania Season 3. Oh my god, she is babe. Do not judge me! Wait, so who's the zombie? Who's the dead guy that we see sitting right here in number two? <laughs> Motherfucker. Whoever's driving that Harley kind of stole my thunder. There's more liquors in here, just FYI. Dr. Bard. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. Now negative. RPD's overrun too. Then figure it out. Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send. Send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. <laughs> I like him already. Me too. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mahaya's call. And I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. He said he was in a hospital. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Okay. Is that Jill in the front row? <laughs> they kept the original concept art to the uh the portrait. Wait, let me see who do we have. You have Chris, you have Wesker, you have Brad, there's Barry. Um there's Joe. There's Joseph. Um, is Forrest in there? Forrest was one of the characters that you see in the original first game. And you kill him. Uh, very close friend of Chris, I believe. Report on the mission incident. Mansion incident. Oh, okay. This bizarre incident occurred in, the, in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arkale Mountains. On July 23rd, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arkale Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went an unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. 
The incident accumulated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. Numerous. The only survivors of fi were five members of STARS. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiment being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus began u being used in these experiments, it escaped the facility, and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all the evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. If I remember correctly, this was originally Wesker's office. This wasn't Chris's, so who wrote that? This was, one of these desks was Chris's, and then this one over here in the corner was Rebecca's, given the, given the pack. Oh, safe box. Thank you. Um. <laughs> Um, two health items on me just in case. Okay, what do we have over here? Oh, what is this? Flash grenade. Just in case. Won't be needing that. Oh, hello, gorgeous. The letter to Jill from Chris, or the letter to every star is operative from Chris, I should say. Yeah, the, that one over there is Chris's. Given the guitar and the, uh, the thing, the jacket. Yeah, what's up? You railed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Shit. What? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. Dun dun dun. Nikolai's gone maverick. <laughs> Uh, that's another game I would like to do for the channel. The Mega Man X series. Unfortunately, yeah. And Nikolai was being a little bitch, like always. New weaponry notice. UBCS. New re weaponry notice. Good news, limp dicks. I've got some new weaponry for, for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in their s brass back in your sacks. <laughs> God. They're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D, and they will light your fires even hotter than the love 
you left that going. <laughs> Oof. Uh, they're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. Alright, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issued grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in or anything. Or anything. Load them in anything else. Fire them at a wall or on the ground. Or the ground. And they'll stay right where you put them. The sensors in the mines will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically just toss them in an enemy's path and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. I figured... I figured we were gonna run into those sooner or later, considering that they were mentioned in uh, Kendo's little... what? Notice? Unfortunately, we're kinda good on... Um, the current shit we have at the moment, but I don't need two of these. I'll just stick with the one, plus the herb. Alright, so we got four spaces. How much of the, um, assault rifle ammo do we have? Okay, so we have 228 total from box, plus the uh, 32 that we have inside the gun. I should probably save just in case. Because you know, you never know when we might need it. What are the chances of finding them? Yeah. Look, guys, I'm really not in the mood. I nearly died. And that one works for me. Now sit your ass down. Shut up. How many bullets to the brain does it take to just kill one of you? I'm not really taking searching these things seriously. For obvious reasons. I was not expecting that. I honestly wasn't going for that trophy, but okay. <laughs> that works. Don't you dare. Okay. You're right. Unless it's a different creature. Clock Tower brochure. St. Michael's Clock Tower. St. Michael's Clock Tower is a... I have no idea how to pronounce that. <laughs> Barcue style? I don't know. 
is a such and such building in building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon and residents consider it to be emblematic, emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course of the early 20th century, and the student body of St. Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Unfortunately, St. Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as, a build, as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this once beloved monument and public plaza on lockdown, but in the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate and reopen the area, this time with proper preservations, preservation effort in place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and today the sound of its heavy tolling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. Am I to assume that's going to be where the next fight takes place? And sadly, I don't have any green herbs. What are the chances that he shows up, like, right now? Holy shit! Stay, boy. Jesus! You're a lot more menacing the original number two. Glad I kept those. Yeah, they definitely changed Nemesis second form.
It's like they kind of mixed his second form with a Cerberus and the agility of a Licker. Although he doesn't have, like, the form of a Licker, just their mobility. Stay in my sight, stay in my sight, stay in my sight. quick bitch okay that was anticlimactic Which is why we've been shooting at it when he stops moving. I should have brought the grenade launcher. Ouch! Anyone see an explosive barrel? Well, that doesn't look like I'm not doing any damage, because he's pretty... Yep, there we go. Right, let's do this. Stop it. Only Resident Evil logic. You get a gun, you're using a gun that you don't even have in inventory. <laughs> oh, that's perfect sense.
All right. Don't get up. Of course you do. Half a day. Jill. Hey, answer me. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. Alright, I'll meet you there. I hope Tyrell makes it out of this alive. Cause he sounds like one of the he sounds like a cool character to keep alive. And as for you, Nikolai, you better pray to whatever god you pray to, because by the end of this game, whether from Jill or Carlos, I'm putting a bullet through your head. Unless you die a different way, then good riddance. Hey, it's Resident Evil Outbreaks Hospital. Where's the leech man? And I think this is where the new hunter, the other hunter, show up too. Discard that. Okay, so first day, two greens, frag, and flashbangs. Um, yeah, I think we just keep this. All right, Jill, hang in there. Okay, so it looks like we're going to need uh, some bolt cutters. Nothing on the seats over here. Ah, fuck it. Alright. Normally I'd be in, a, in bed right now because I have to work the next day. Um, but I'm kind of in a good mood, so... Fuck off. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, nobody invited you. lied to me <laughs> you assholes okay so it looks like we might end up uh, coming back here with Jill if these locks are here. Unless, if we go to Jill. Okay. So it looks like we might end up coming back into this area with Jill. Since she's the only one with those lock picks. Okay. I take it that's where we need to be. Jeez, I'm really getting sick and tired of you guys. Okay, I think I think I know what this is gonna be for. Doctor Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match. Oh. Okay. So we take the tape recorder and then we've had to find the tape itself, the cassette. All right, Nurse's Journal, September 25th. Every day they bring in more of these mysterious illness patients. The sedatives don't stop there, don't stop their delirium. So we have to put them in straitjackets and move them to, to the isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The doctor has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge but what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wielding a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What's going on? Jesus. You can stay in there. Bitch. Okay, 
is, I need a card key. I'll keep you here. I'm running out of space as it is. I'll take the ammo, though. Figure that'd be bulletproof. The more I travel in this hospital, the more I'm not liking it. Figures. I think it has something to do with that padlock. Oh my god. What the hell happened to you? I don't think I want to know. <sighs> when the CEO tells you to sweep and clear the area, but then you find this shit. Oh, he does like a tackle. Who's hungry? Apparently these zombies. I hate when it does that. My heart is already racing and the adrenaline is pumping fast enough. Okay, hang on. Just so I can... <sighs> do I have to go that way or do I have to go this way? <sighs> okay, I'm in a safe room. Thank goodness I'm in a safe room. Nurse's Journal, September 27th. Admitted over 20 mystery illnesses. Illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering, delirium, and signs of hyperphagia. Possible infection? Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We have got to contain this chaos. All hands on deck, eh? Kinda sounds like my job. And until we find the oops, until we find the cassette, it's gonna chill in here. At this point, the more ammo I can find, the better my chances of survival against what I against whatever is about to show up. And I know it's about to show up. I've played the original three.
And I know what I'm about to go up against is going to be mean and nasty. Kind of like whatever did this to these guys. Nurse's Journal, September 29th. We tried. I swear to God we did. But there's nothing else we... Nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming. But none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking. But I want to live. I want to live. 9 p.m. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then a sound grew distant. Then the sound grew distant. And all we're left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota, I'm so sorry. I failed you. Something's coming. Help. Memos of it. Oh shit, my address. <laughs> I can't even talk right now. I'm so nervous. Memos from administration. ID card rules. ID cards are not to be taken off at hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Thank you. Administration, September 20th. Lost locker room key. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Must be something with that box. Until it is recovered, we will keep a spare key in he key here in the office. Please stop by administration and at the end of your shift to borrow it. Administration, September 24th. Oh, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Doesn't look like there's a left, so there's a right. Okay, so it looks like there's a way to get out here, but I'm not done exploring just yet.
unless this is sequenced. Maybe I'm worried over nothing, but I've been wrong before. Tell you're really upset. Probably for no reason. I'll probably regret that later. Alright, is there anything in here? I hear it, just don't see it. Okay. Anyone else hear that stupid bobblehead? Where the hell is it? God, it's gonna be driving me crazy. Whatever. Um... Okay, so... I won't be able to get the safe. Uh, not about a tape recording. Dakota, I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw Abbott remove something from the from a locker in the nurse's station and walk and walk toward the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep your and keep doing your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole, and I will and we'll get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong. A friend. Okay. I was gonna say, let's call it here, but I kinda wanna know what this recording is. Okay, I'm hoping I'm not missing anything. So that's the safe, and we need to get through there. Um. We also need to get through there. There's the staff room. Hospital map. Ooh. Hang on. I need to turn my, um... I wanted to turn the volume of my headset down. Here we go. Um, I 
What time is it? 11.37? 1 hour, 22 minutes, 23. Okay, we're good. I just want to free up some space. Okay, there's still some things in here. A simple lock. Figures. I think I figured out how to do it, like, you'd have to put it in the, oh no, wait, never mind, because Carlos and Jill have different stash boxes, never mind. Okay, so the linen room. that area with the uh, tape looking things okay so it was the other side wasn't here. <sighs> like, <laughs> I am so nervous right now. Because the hunters are terrifying. Like, that is highly admittable. They are fucking terrifying. custom part for the CQBR assault rifle greatly reduces recoil and gives each shot more stability more stable trajectory that is a good thing ooh Locker room key. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, the hunters are terrifying. And to actually go up against one now would be completely fucking terrifying. Operating room. 
Okay, where was I going? Not the courtyard. Green herb. I was going... Okay. So I need to go towards the rooftop, and then I need to go to the staff room. Sorry, I'm just... Jesus. I know, I know. Could have been done with this already, but I really don't know what to fucking expect. I mean, we already have Hunter Gamma as a thing. And they were in the sewers. What? Discard. I really don't use flash grenades unless like it's really necessary though. Oh, fucking hell, it's a repeat of two! I should've saw that shit coming! <sighs> Hospital ID. Okay. <sighs> um. I believe I needed to go to the. This is where we were. Okay, first things first, let's make our way back to the lobby. God, every time I see that autosave thing, I feel like something's about to happen. Okay, so right. Yep. God. Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh my God, Capcom, you really outdid yourselves this time. What the fuck, man? What is your guys' problem? You really... Like, I get you wanted to make a remake, but you really remade everything. Holy shit. I thought the liquors were terrifying, but that shit... Oh my God. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Okay, let's go to the nurse's room. 
Like, I literally held back that little brief moment of fear. Jesus. I don't know who or what those things killed, but... Ugh. Red herb. <clears throat> like a shot. What was out here? Oh, it was the linen room. They're literally right in the next room over, aren't they? Oh no, it was uh, this area, not the linen room. What the hell was I thinking? Oh wait, we were in the linen room. Okay. Well, you're the only living person that, well, corpse that looks more living than all the others. If I had to make a guess, I'd say you were Dr. Bard. But that was only if I was a betting man. Auto cassette tape. Alright. We got the auto cassette tape. Let's head back to that safe room. Uh, we could take the red herb. Um, quickest way to that safe room. literally outside this door. Jesus, it takes a whole mag just to take this thing down. Not that I mind or anything, but damn. 
All right, Doc. Let's see what kind of secrets you were hiding. Oh, we can't play it? Jeez, I haven't seen any this type of tape recorder in years. Um, what do we have? And now you see why I don't want to run, guys. With the hunters around, that's just going to make it de even deadlier. Alright. There was a few rooms in here that were red. Come over here. So mean, you ignored me. Well, at least she acknowledges me. For the first time, a woman acknowledged my existence. <laughs> What was in here? Another green herb. Green herb! Uh, this is the lobby, right? Push through. Operating. Well, there's good news and then there's bad news. The good news is we found Bard. Bad news is, uh, let's just say he never had the guts to complete the mission. That's right, I went there. I'll see myself out. It's just flash grenades. I don't, I don't think I'll need them for now. Oh. Lost items. To all employees, we've been in... We've been inundated with reports of lost items. If you find something and, it's un and it is unclear who it belongs to, do not take it home. Please deposit it in a nurse station safe. 
The save combination is my clockwise, three counterclockwise. Thank you for your cooperation. Nine clockwise. Hmm. Actually, there's a safe room back right, in, back in that direction. So, okay, I know for a fact that there was a box here somewhere. Unless that stock was the thing that was in said box, then then I already got it. Okay. So roof. Um. Where was I going? It was the nurse's station. Hey there, big boy. Not so big, ain't ya? Custom part for the CQBR assault rifle allows the use of two magazines at once for a maximum capacity of 64 rounds. What does it look like though? Oh! Well, technically speaking, that's just a quick reload. You'd eject that, you'd, once you run out of the bullets for the first mag, you eject it just to reload. It's not really 64 capacity rounds, but uh, you do you. Okay, so everything in here is searched, so now we gotta go back to the first floor. There's no point in going back to the operating room or the emergency room because we don't have the lockpick for one. Two, that's a flash grenade. That green herb is right there and it's easy to get to. We'll save that for Jill if we can come back in here. So let's head to the reception. Yes, I'm under the roof. So we're at the lab reception. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bet pad changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. 
publishing, don't you? Now fuck off and don't say a word to anyone. Well then. Wow. What a douche. Your uh, thoughts and sentiments exactly. And since that's done and dealt with, we don't need that anymore, which definitely frees up space. Is there anything else I need? Um, courtyard. Okay, so this wasn't the what I needed. Which means... There's still something I need to do. Okay, then. As I've always said before, if it's not one thing, it's another. And I really don't want to miss anything. And since I actually have two of these... And as far as I know, this entire area is clear enough. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's a way for me to actually... Oh, wait, there is. Looks like it's over here. Not this way. Wait. It looks like there's a hole right here. Okay, so you do get to come back here with Jill. It only makes sense if there's lock pick locks you can pick and areas you can crawl through. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. They definitely brought back the puzzle element within this game. Excuse me. Okay. Um, it looks like there's something in this hall. Oh, it's that briefcase. Okay. Never mind. Hey! Um, that's a reference, I think, to Mountain Dew. I don't know what that is. Or it could be Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Ah, 
I know it says I have to go that way, but let's go this way. You mean to tell me that door is the only the only way to get through that door is through a pick? What the hell? I will get that thing. Okay. Let's see if this guy actually needs rescuing or if he's just gonna end up dead like the rest. I'll take the ammo. I'll take Okay. Oof. Is there a safe box in here somewhere? Does not look like. And back to the creepy ambiance music. Um, I believe the closest one is the lobby. I'm gonna be really upset if there's a hunter out here. Okay. And since we're on the topic of areas of where we need to be in... Really? Um... I'm not using those much. Okay. This works. We'll save here. We'll keep going. I, I want to get to... I, I don't want to end the video until like right when we get to Jill's part at least. Hang on, baby. I got ya. Big Daddy Shadows got ya. Why does that not sound refreshing? Shut up. <sighs> okay. Okay, I got handgun ammo. Banquet invitation. Dar Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel, where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone, the SMZ. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons and other distinguished members of our community. Thursday, September 10th, 1998, 6 p.m., the Orient, the Orient Restaurant, the Central Hotel, second floor. We would be honored if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Handwritten note. Nate, I will be introducing the bill for that new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We've booked a suite for the usual after-party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Irons know. Holy shit. It's one of those things, isn't it? Um... I mean, might as well. Email from Nathan Bard. To Greg Tester, reply immediately. Greg, I know you're watching the news. This T virus or this virus is going to devour the whole the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend of me. 
so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus, the Holy Grail. And it's not for my family, not for my ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States. But you, but if you want the goods, Greg, you have to, you have got to get me the hell out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team in here without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Which should sound pretty chast if after the parties we've been to. Hurry, my time is running out. Nate. Alright. Someone got to him first, and I have a hunch I know who it is. It'll be a fucking miracle if you can survive with both Jill and Carlos. Ah, my ear itches. Hunter betas. Okay, so they're one hit kills, regardless of difficulty.
procedure. Jesus, dude. This is a new thing. What am I going to need a detonator for? Check my six. Finally.
Oh jeez, I can't think of a worse predicament than this. Oh man, I can't see myself doing this on hardcore. Jeez, when his balls drop, it's like thunder. <laughs> he wasn't this badass in the original three. Welcome back to the land of the living. It's a nightmare. It's a burst model. I don't want that. But I'll collect it. Oops. Okay. Five spots. Where's Tyrell? Okay, I got enough ammo and medical supplies. Good morning, sunshine. You saved my life. 
Sure as shit, didn't he? That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? On the underground. The guard stopped by the vaccine, enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Of course, when have we expected any sense of peace in this game? Alright. Let me see. Weren't there freeze rounds? Wasn't mine rounds, it was frost rounds. It was freeze rounds, acid rounds, flame rounds, and explosive rounds. Those were the four grenade rounds. There was no such thing as mines. That's not going to work. Still, just in case something, you know, needs to be blown up and set on fire, you know, kill it with fire. Um, yeah, I think that would be a good time to end it. We've actually covered a lot. Go ahead and make a save file here. Alright. And if you kept up with me this far and you've enjoyed what you've seen, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to remain updated for any further games that me and my friends have planned to play in the future, or anything that I have personally planned for my channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell on the side, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Resident Evil 3 The Remake. Also, if you have any game recommendations you'd like to see me and my friends play together, or uh, like to see me play in the future, leave a comment in the box below, and I'll definitely make a list of whatever games or game you guys would like me to play, and I'll definitely consider it. Until then, everyone. Have a great rest of your weekend, and stay gold.